So the first question is, why do we want to set up our telescopes for polar alignment in the first place? And the reason for that is, if you're an astrophotographer, uh, polar aligning the telescope is actually quite crucial. Uh, if you don't polar align your telescope and therefore your mount can't counter the Earth's rotation, that means all your stars are not going to be round. Um, they're going to be trailing off in all kinds of different directions. So polar aligning is very important to get those stars as round as possible so that you can shoot beautiful long exposures and capture all that detail. Unless you're shooting with a rasa, hmm, then uh, your exposures are a lot shorter. But still, polar line is very, very important. So the first step in polar aligning is making sure your tripod legs are as level as possible and you're gonna be roughly pointing towards uh, celestial south. I like to use my main uh, tripod leg to be pointing roughly towards celestial south. And to help me find celestial south during the day, I use uh, my phone and an app like Photo Pills um, to give you an idea on which direction to point in. Now to help obtain a nice level base, uh, some tripod legs have a bubble level in them, which can uh, be really handy in those situations. Now if you don't have a, uh, a tripod with a bubble level in it, you might pay to maybe download an app that can give you a similar sort of effect with your phone, or go out and buy yourself a, a little um, bubble level yourself and mount that either on your tripod or just carry it around in your bag for setting up for polar alignment. So once you've set up your mount and your telescope is all on your mount, whether it's just one telescope, one awesome rasa, or two, um, the next stage is balance. You want to make sure your system is balanced, okay? And just by making sure your counterweights um, are in the correct position, that your system is nicely balanced and it's moving nice and freely um, means that your tracking is going to uh, improve uh, even more once your polar alignment is uh, also complete. So all we need to do is wait for it to get a little bit darker. We can fire these up and we can start some polar alignment. All right, so it's now dark enough to begin our polar alignment procedure using sharp cap. So I'm uh, currently logged into my Eagle 4 here on my iPad and we're going to uh, open up sharp cap and begin. Now the first, first thing we need to do is uh, connect up our camera. So I'm gonna be using the ASI 294 MC Pro. So we'll just load that up and um, everything's basically set on auto in the camera control section so it's just uh, imaging away. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head up to uh, tools and then we're going to go to uh, polar align. And it's going to bring up a tab, a tab down the bottom. I'm just going to click on that tab where it says polar align and it's going to basically give us a bit of information about the uh, you know requirements and, and whatnot. Now we'll say this that uh, when using sharp cap for polar alignment you do need to be within about five degrees of the um, uh, of your pole or you know, in this case the uh, celestial pole otherwise it's not going to work it's not going to be able to plates off and, and work properly too far um, of a distance so uh, we're just going to hit next and it's already plate solved just quickly there so now what we need to do is press the next button before rotating the RA axis so I'm just going to press next down the bottom and it's just going to uh, do a quick calculation now it's telling me to rotate the um, RA axis of my mount so all I'm going to do is just release the, the clutch rotate my twin rasses to about 90 degrees and then tighten up the clutch. Okay, so now it's plate solved already and uh, has told me I've got a poor polar alignment error. 
So all we're going to do is uh, push the next button again. And now it is going to tell me um, whether I should be going left, right, up and down with the adjustment uh, knobs on the actual mount itself. So let's start adjusting the, uh, the polar alignment. I hope you found this video useful on how to polar align in the southern hemisphere using sharp cap and just how easy it is. If you use sharp cap yourself for your polar alignment, please let me know in the comments below um, what you think or how you find uh, polar alignment. Well. If you found this video helpful, please give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, or subscribe to my channel, and check out some of my other videos. Alright guys, that's it for me, so until next time, take it easy. See ya.